Welcome back to Biba Doobie and the way things go. Yes, you heard me right. That's the artist's name, Biba Doobie. And there's a special link between her and a super, super, super global superstar. Say that when you're drunk. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. Although I'd say her fans already know, but people to my channel all around the world would not know. And it's really, really amazing news. To the singer herself, who is she? She is Beatrice Christie Ella J. Leos, best known as Biba Adubi. Now, she's a Filipino English singer and songwriter, and from 2018 to 21, she released five extended plays under the independent label Dirty Hit. Uh, um, the first one was in 2018, Lice. Second one was Patched Up. Love Worm in 2019, Space Cadet 2019, and our extended play in 2021. Her debut studio album, Fake It Flowers, was released in 2020 and received critical acclaim. Her second studio album, Beatopia, was released on the July the 15th in 2022. Now, Biba, Biba Doobie, served as a supporting act for the label mates of the 1975 wow during several legs of their music for cars tour as well as american singer clario during her immunity tour she was nominated for the rising star award in 2020 brit awards and was presented with the radar award at the 2020 nme awards which if we enemy is the poll winners concerts now Bia Duby was predicted as a breakthrough act for 2020 in the annual BBC poll of music critics sound of 2020 and in 2023 Bia Duby was the a supporting act for Taylor Swift during the Eris tour now that came with big publicity everybody and his ongoing six concert tour by the singer-songwriter Taylor Swift. Imagine, she picked this young lady, singer-songwriter from England, as the opening act for the start of the Eris tour. What an honor. So it doesn't surprise me when you read about this young lady, about not her personal life, but about the influences. And she puts down Elliot Smith, Mac uh, DiMarchio, the Mouldy Peaches, Pavement, Massey Star, The Beatles, Simon and Garfunkel, and Daniel Johnson. That's just some of the influences when she grew up musically. She also has a tattoo of Johnson's artwork from the cover of his album, Continued Story with Texas Instruments. In 2018, with Vice, she expressed plans to make film soundtracks in the future, as they heavily inspire her to make music. Now, finally, in a 2022 interview for Rolling Stone, imagine Rolling Stone, she named Matty Healy as her mentor, stating that he's one of the nicest people. And for those who don't know who Matty Healy is, he's an English singer, songwriter, record producer, who's the lead vocalist and principal songwriter of indie art band, the 1975. Now, I also believe he dated Taylor Swift. So was an introduction done there or a little silent word trickled through? because I believe Taylor Swift is still good friends with him. Now, in addition to uh, Healy, Taylor Swift, obviously, Harry Styles, Khalid, Jaden Smith have each expressed their admiration for the artist you're going to hear. So f what is the song today about then? Because even though I've done a very light-hearted thumbnail to attract attention to this particular artist, the meaning of the song, the way things go, explore the complexities of love and the acceptance of its inevitable ups and downs the song divides into the emotion of a failed relationship and the resulting frustrations and disappointment that brings that's what today's song is about and with great joy i say bebop a doobie and it isn't bebop a doobie but i'm incorporating a song that i just can't get out of my head since i heard that the actual artist's name. Be a doobie, I want you to do your thing. 
and I know you're going to be an instant success. You're artistic, you're like art coming to life in your videos, as people will see with this. You're like a person who resonates with different age groups, but has a massive, massive fan club in LA. We're in the Greek theater, check that out on YouTube. She absolutely floored with a couple of concerts that just left people wanting more. Swift fans have now adopted her as their little nurtured baby and she has got a legion of fans global because of that. I'm sure Taylor Swift ha hasn't um, regretted her decision making her the opening act but what an honour, what an honour and this is why she was the opening act. She just a breath of fresh air isn't she she just comes into your life musically and you just go wow I like that even a mature man like me likes that now I like antiquities they're all over my apartment and I noticed in the video that red settee and be a doobie seeing as I did your video I want you to wrap up that settee and send it to Ireland and send it to me I would love that in my apartment I just think that is incredible. I love the way the video was done. It's simplicity at its best, but it's crafted art. And this is what Bia Doobie is all about. She brings art to life on stage, in the songs, in the lyrics, in her performances, in her videos. And it's a breath of fresh air. And boy, in today's musical world where People are stifled copying other artists, the way they sing, the way they act, the way they do things. 
it becomes tedious and boring for a musical reactor like me sometimes to react to so many similar sounding songs. But she is uniquely unique. I think you agree. I certainly love that now. Thank you for that light-hearted piece of fresh air. We're going to go into the lyrics and it starts and the refrain. And there's so much left to say. I guess I'm just the bigger guy. And there's too much on my mind. That I don't even want to try. Guess it's not far from the ordinary. They do say love is blind. But I guess that's the way things go. So when she opens up in the refrain set sets the tone for this song because highlighting her struggles with communication and the overwhelming thoughts that we all have on expression sometimes can hinder hinder us actually either finishing a relationship starting a relationship or sorting out a relationship communication between two people i've often said is the most important thing and the line i guess i'm just big the bigger guy suggests a sense of maturity and understanding on her part because she's just a young lady beginning in life so for her to have hiccups and be deep rooted and deep thinking about it shows the sensitivity of this artist that we're dealing with it shows Biadubi being that kind of person that takes things to heart and she analyzes in her head what way to move forward not just in her career but emotionally as well because she acknowledges that sometimes it's necessary to let things go and move on. And a lot of people don't do that in relationships. They hold on, hold on, hoping for the best. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to dress like this, say this, do this and become this. You've got to be honest and move on if things are breaking down, especially with communication. You really do. The phrase love is blind that we've just heard, it's a common expression. I've often used it, God, love is blind. And I have worn that t-shirt with those words on too many times in my life. And it's it's so common amongst all of us. We all can um, relate to it. But what is she trying to say? It's implying when love is involved, it, it can cloud her judgment and perception of how to move forward, what to do, how to balance things. It just can. And she mentions that. Now let's go into the chorus of this song because it said, can't remember how to say your name, let alone count all the freckles on your face. A distant memory I used to know. Oh, I guess that's just the way things go. I guess that's just the way things go. And I think there is a reason why she repeats that because it's almost like the thought process in your head, isn't it? When you have something in your mind, you go, oh, God, that annoys me. You know when you're annoyed or upset or something is just plaguing you mentally, you repeat it. So she almost talks to you in, in and even on the video and the way she sings and delivers, it's almost talking out loud. What the, the ears hear from the voice, it affects the heart. You know, we, we hear many things in life and when you hear your own voices, your own thought process. It's part of eventually something will resonate with you and make sense. Because she says, oh, I guess that's the way things go. So she does come to a resolution. Oh, I guess that's the way things go. Can't remember when you said you called miles away and it was still my fault. So you see self blame there. And when communication breaks down and somebody is blaming you in the relationship for it breaking down, walk away just let them deal with themselves instead of putting that onto you emotionally because she says the love you said you had it sometimes showed sometimes imagine not always sometimes oh i guess that's just the way thing. and she always resolves it by saying to herself almost like a chanter uh that's the way things go that's the way yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. i've just got to believe in that but it, it is the thought process does help you but you do have to believe in it believe in it and the chorus when it delves into that it speaks about her struggles to remember details about even the person itself that she's broken the relationship is broken down with she's even struggling she's like where are the good things what 
good things so I don't actually I just know I'm to blame for this and, and um, it's put on me uh, that's why um, the relationship we don't speak I can't speak to you so everything is her fault at the moment and it emphasizes the fading memories and distance between them simply because what's filling up her, her mind is how troublesome she is with that self-blame aspect because she's been told that when somebody tells you something sometimes you believe it and I think there's a part of it that says oh so I'm to blame so anyway they the ability to recall even the name or count the practice on the face demonstrates the detachment from a person who once held such significance because remember when you meet somebody for the first time you fall in love with them facially it's their eyes it's their face and in this sweet expression of what once was it's the freckles on the face how beautiful is that I've never had that in a song or reference made to it but there's so many people with freckles and it's never mentioned this is the first time it ever was in a song that I've dealt with so when it says it, it was still my fault in the chorus it hints at a lingering guilt she's on a guilt trip because of what's been told to her and that happens to many many people the other person always blames the other person they never see their own faults they're always the better of the two and if the, if they know they're more sensitive and fragile and weak as regards to coming back verbally they punish them with it's your fault and point the finger that always happens you become the weak person because of your inability to express and be strong in a time when it's needed you take you take on all the emotional baggage and there's no getting out of that unless you teach yourself to switch off and not listen and let everything just go through one ear out the other so it doesn't affect your heart it's a difficult thing it takes maturity it takes years and Bea Doobie is still at that point where she's learning it's a learning curve for her and that learning curve can be turned into a strength by turning those negativities into positivities but it takes maturity and time and experience it doesn't happen when you're young you just keep making the same mistakes but as you get older you learn not to you put the hand up and say that's not going to happen to me again I'm going to say what I have to say here but there's the feeling of guilt in the chorus the responsibility that she's to blame for this demise even though what is causing the problem is the distance between them it's physically what separates them that's what's causing the breakdown it it's a long not a long-term relationship no um, a long distance relationship the way things unfold in a relationship it really is and even if they're un undesirable even if they're a breakdown like what happened here just accept them and move on so thank you for listening be a newbie you'll be back soon because i don't need to introduce you again you're now on my channel it's a permanent fixture take care for now everybody